So, I, I mean, I didn't know Wakeford House existed. Um, and uh, it wasn't until I'd actually had my second stint in a psychiatric ward. Uh, I'd been taken there from uh, the family home by the GP and um, for the second time. And they'd, they said that things aren't going to get better within the family home because of the stress element, you know. If, you, if you're already away up here, you know, you're just taking over in a fam family environment. You needed to go somewhere where it was away from that uh, and allowed you to concentrate on the main problem, you know, which was your mental health. Pat and Gary came here to speak to me and see what was going on and what I was doing. Uh, and then I went along to the first course and I was really impressed, really impressed with how the Pat and Gary work. People will go on the Thistle course uh, when they've had enough of their suffering. They've had enough. They're looking for a way out of it. Uh, and it'll not be the first thing they've done. So I thought, this is a, a great organisation and it would be good to get involved. And I did several of the, the small courses that they run for people that want to volunteer. And I was a bit uh, arrogant in as much as uh, I thought, I'll just do them because then I can tick boxes. But actually doing the courses, they were fantastic courses. And I learned so much from them. You know, I, I want to help people. I want to help specifically veterans. And the, the way forward for me is doing it, or partly doing it, through the Thistle Foundation. Um, <clears throat> if I really want to get at uh, a big audience, you know, to help them, then I, I, I have to do it through an organisation, and I can't think of a better organisation than Thistle. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not here to advertise that fact, but it's a truth, it's a reality. They're just very good at what they do.